Hi guys, I'm Jack Wong and welcome to Why This Brain Fail. Today, we are looking at the problem that is very popular. The tear dot structure around the surface of the printing, totally spoiling the appearance of the part as well as our mood for the rest of the day. This problem is also known as over extrusion. So, targeting to this problem, we will be dwelling into the possible reasons behind the happening of it as well as the solutions. Before this, let us understand the concept behind the working of the 3D printer extruder. The extruder is heated so that the filaments pushed into it can melt and deposit on the heat bed. At the same time, the fans act to cool down the melted materials so that it solidify and form your part. Now you had a clear view on how the extruder works, let's find out the reason of our today's failure. The first possible reason is printing with too high temperature. If the heat at the extruder is too hot, the meltdown of the filaments become very aggressive. Even though they are fans to cool down the material, the over melted filaments are not able to cool down in time, causing some of them to drip out forming the tear droplets on your printing part surface. The second possible reason will be the printing with too high flow rate. The flow rate is the speed of the flowing of filaments out of your extruder during your printing. Same goes, if your filament is pushing out with a high rate, the fan is also hard to cool the filaments well. The third reason that might have caused this problem will be the improper extrusion multiplier setting. The extrusion multiplier is another setting that will also adjust the flow rate at which your extruder extrudes materials. The next reason could be the improper configuration of the filament diameter size in the slicer software. The slicer applications uses this value to adjust the flow rate of the filaments too. So by giving it a wrong value, the machine might miscalculate the actual required flow rate of your printing causing the problem to happen. This might look like a silly mistake to make however, we all made ourselves a fool once or twice so don't, don't feel bad. After knowing all the possible reasons that might cause the problem, let's find out the solutions targeting each of them. For the first one, printing with too high temperature. This one is an easy fix. Just go to the settings in your slicer applications, adjust your printing temperature to a lower one. Try to adjust it down by 5 Celsius each time and test if the temperature is suitable for your current materials by printing some testing model. Be aware that you are not advisable to adjust the temperature exceeding the range of the materials suggested temperature range. You can always refer to the material packaging to find out the suitable range of printing temperature. There is usually a label or sticker on the packaging. If you fail to find it, you might need to surf across the internet or contacting your materials provider for that piece of information. Number 2. Printing with too high flow rate. This one is also an easy fix, while you can just lower down the value of the flow rate setting by 5% each time. Test it with your testing model to find the suitable value of your extruders. Number 3. Unproper extrusion multiplier setting. This setting does almost similar effects with the flow rate settings. The value is usually default to 1. However, you can lower down this value to 0.9 to solve this problem. Please take note that we should not change this value too much as the effects are drastic. Try not to change both flow rate and extrusion multiplier setting at the same time as it will be extremely hard for you to tune the effects. If you decided to change the flow rate, then you might just leave this setting untouched. Also, most of the slicer seems like not providing this setting as a variable for user. I'm only available to find the setting in Slixer. So maybe it is the best to just stick with adjusting the flow rate settings. Number 4. Unproper configuration of the filament diameter size. If you had done all the above steps and still failing, we might suggest you to take a quick look to see if you have input the wrong filament diameter size to the slicer application. Also, even though there are some standards for the filament diameter size, however, 
there will still be some tolerance for its dimension across different brands of filaments. So, you can use vernier calipers to measure the exact size of your filaments, thereby pushing the quality of your printing parts to the next level. Finally, here comes the end of the video. We hope that the solutions that we suggested above will help to solve your 3D printing problem. If you know more about solutions that can better solve this problem, please don't hesitate to share your opinions below in the comment sections. We will be grateful for them. If you think that our video is helpful, please like, subscribe and share this to your friend. You might be their savior in the journey of 3D printing. As usual, thanks and happy printing.